Hi folks, in this video I'm gonna share with you a bash script that was based on a C code um, in a um, PowerPoint slide I found on the net for a topic of bitwise programming. Um, what it does is um, defines a binary of a unsigned integer. Um, originally this code over here, these two pages, and it says like if you give the number 65,000 it, it will give you the uh, binary of that number. Okay, so I use the same logic as the C code here, but I do it using bash. Okay. Um, the code itself is very brief, but it requires a long explanation because uh, you need to know what's going on. Okay, what do these C codes do? Okay, so here it says, uh, suppose the value we want to um, find the binary of is 10. Okay, which is this in binary. Okay. And the mask is um, this. So what I mean is um, mask is this in binary, and value is this in binary. Okay. I've mentioned here the binary value of the binary form of the value, and not the decimal ten because um, well. Um, I know that we are trying to convert decimal to binary, but we did it right here just for convenience, okay? So TCS says here, um, we are trying to convert unsigned integer to binary, okay? But here for explanation purposes, we mentioned that the value over here in the example, which is 10, is uh, 1010 in binary. So we start by doing uh, bitwise end, okay? So what it says is um, we do bitwise end of the value and the mask, okay? Um, so here uh, at the beginning, the first bitwise end results in zero, right? Because if you do bitwise end between this and that, um, it's zero. Okay. Then what we do is um, we shift the value um, to the left by one. Okay. So the new value becomes. Sorry. Yeah, we shift it by shift left by one digit. Okay. So it becomes um, I think it comes like that. Okay, so here. Okay, and then what we do is um, so this is the new value. Uh, we do the um, Bitwise end again with the new value and the mask, okay? Still zero, okay? And then after the bitwise end, we shift the value again to, our, to the left by one digit, okay? So it becomes. comes like that, okay? And then we do the bitwise end with the new value and the mask again. Again it's zero, right? Let me just keep going, okay? So we shift the value to the left by one digit again. Okay? And we do the bitwise end with the mask again. It's again zero. But wait, wait 
for the next iteration. If you shift it by one again, now if you do um, mask and value, um, it will become non-zero value. Okay, non-zero. Okay, namely it will be. Okay, which is non-zero. All, all the thing here is previous one was zero. Okay, zero, 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 zero. Okay, so um, you have to do the shifting. Um, in this case, eight times because it's a eight-bit number. Okay, but here it says um. Um, so in effect, we do bitwise and between every digit of value and the most significant bit of mask. So sorry. So the most significant bit for the mask is the one over here. Okay. So we do the for each iteration. Um, we do the bitwise and between the most significant um, bit of the mask with. Um, with the um, every digit of the value, okay. So um, it will become like this over here, okay. So we do uh, zero and one, uh, shift it, zero and one, shift it again, zero and one, shift it again, zero and one. There, these are all zeros. The results are zero, but then. You do uh, one and one. That's one. Zero is still zero. One is one. Zero is zero. Okay. So after several iterations, we arrive at um, this value over here. Okay. And then you, if you do the um, bitwise end with the mask again, uh, it gives you this value. Okay. But that's what we said over here. It's non-zero now. Okay, so it's so in the end we give back um, what, what is the binary um, form of the value which was ten. Okay, so the purpose of this script is um, satisfied. Okay, so it says therefore if the result of the end operation is zero, then we mark it as zero. But if it is non-zero, then we mark it as one. These are the individual bits of value in binary. Okay. Um, note here in the example for the purpose of simplicity I dealt with the uh, 8-bit number but in the example we are dealing with 32-bit number okay. so, so if I keep if I keep doing it I'll get back to um, the binary form of the decimal 10, right? So we we have to do it eight times because in the example the number is eight bits. So what 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 we don't want two, three, four, five. We have to do it three more. Okay. Um, so it's uh, um, zero, one, zero. Okay. Um, that is. Zero again, okay. okay, and uh, so that's zero, 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 one, zero, one, zero. Okay, so if we do the shifting to the left again, it becomes like this, right? This time it's that which is um, non-zero, okay, and then um, this is the last last one. If we do shift the shift to the left once more, it just becomes zero, right? So the end bitwise end with the mask is zero in this case. So I told you that these zero or non-zero, these are the markers for each digit of um, 
binary digits of, of the value in this case it was 10 right so so therefore um, 10 is equal to um, 0 0 0 0 1 0 1 0 okay but in this example yeah in this example I've dealt with 8 bit numbers but the script deals with 32 bits okay so um, let me just um, explain um, so this is the variable for the unsigned int that to be converted into binary the mask here is um, the mask here is um, is this which is equal to um, 1 followed by followed by 30 zeros okay so like like this okay um, so this is our mask okay so here the for loop ensures that we do 32 into 32 iterations okay if it was this example we would um, do 8 iterations but here is 32 bit number so we do 32 times the iteration okay so first we do the um, bitwise end between the mask and the value and this is just saying um, if by default um, the current digit will be 0 only if um, if the um, bitwise n operation results in a non-zero number, um, then we set the digit to one. Otherwise, zero. Okay, like this. Like um, if it's zero, digit will be zero. If the bitwise n operation results in non-zero number, then the digit will be one. Okay. Um, for each iteration you add to the the binary number each digit either zero or one okay and then as I said here in the example over here what you do next is you do the sh uh, left shift by one digit the value okay and then you go to the next or iteration 32 times okay this is just saying for every um, octet um, print a space okay I'll do it here um, so if it's some um, 65,000 as you can see each octet has a space in between okay so 65,000 in binary is this okay um, if I go I just go through the C code as I said this is the C code that I based my bash script on okay so the logic is here it says here to uh, formulate a mask you sh you do this shift left shift okay this will be equal to 1 followed by 30 zeros okay sorry 1 followed by 31 zeros okay that's the mask and for we do 32 iterations because it's just 32 bit number for each iteration you do the um, bitwise end between the value and the mask if that results in a non-zero number then we set the current digit to 1 otherwise 0 okay and then you left shift the value by 1 okay and then you do go to the next iteration okay so let me just finish with okay. so here so what what happens is um so in effect we do the bitwise end between every digit of value and the most significant bit of mask so we go from 0 and 1 0 and 1 0 and 1 0 and 1 1 and 1 0 and 1 1 and 1 0 and 1 so here 0 and 1 will be 0 1 and 1 will be 1 okay that's how we figure out each digit in binary okay happy hacking bye